Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you something regarding the uh, paper test in physics paper 1, multiple choice. This is uh, for uh, this is on February March 2016. Uh, we have only 1 hour 15 minutes to solve this problem. Uh, okay, this is physics paper 1, multiple choice. We go directly to the number 1. Yes. The prefix nano, micro, mu, and pico are often used with units with the which row show the correct values. Yes, the nano is 10 to the power of minus 9, yeah, and then micro is 10 to the power of minus 6, and uh, pico is 10 to the power of minus 12. So the answer is C. Okay, continue number 2. A crane has arm to which attach a frictionless poly a couple pairs of our poly and support a lot 10 kN as soon yes uh, this is frictionless poly yeah? so uh, the force equals to of the uh, of the resultant of this uh, force yeah 10 kN and then cosinus 30 also 10 kN and cosin uh, times with 10 uh, cosinus 30 so that's mean uh, uh, force equals to 2 times 10 to the power of cosinus uh, 30 so uh, when we calculate 2 times with a half is equal to 1 so this is equals to 10 with uh, root of uh, times with root 3 yeah so right root of 3 around 1.7 so I think the answer is D yeah now the number three uh, the si unit in specific heat capacity is joule kilogram minus one kelvin minus one what the unit of specific heat capacity expressed as expressed in si base unit okay uh we have joule joule uh, this is the uh, si uh, this is a uh, unit of energy yeah let's say this is a uh, unit of energy uh, kinetic energy a uh, half mv mv uh, uh, oh sorry a uh, half mv square this mean uh, kilogram meter square second minus one kilogram and kilogram minus one this was, will be neg neglected so we have meter square second square yeah, meter square second square uh, kelvin minus one I think this, the answer is C so Number four, quantity x has frictional uncertainty of x. Quantity y has frictional uncertainty of y. Uh, what the fractional uncertainty in x y square? In x and y square, also we have uh, x is here in x and y square. Uh, if we go up, this is uh, means y minus two. So the frictional uncertainty of y that's mean two y. So I think the answer is D. Number five, uh, PQR and XYZ are wired in circuit. A galvanometer connect Q and Y as null indicator. When the galvanometer reads zero, which does mean is correct. When the galvanometer uh, reads zero, it means uh, the the potential difference between p r and x y this is uh sim yeah or, but in different but in different direction so the potential difference between q and y is in width is zero uh, uh the potential difference between q and y is zero mm. and then are the resistance between q r is zero or the resistance between QR is zero. This is about not infinite. Yeah, this is about zero, but the zero uh, uh, between potential or resistance. I think the resistance is not uh, uh, zero, but the potential difference between QR is zero. I think the answer is B. Continue number six. Uh, <coughs> An object has an uh, initial velocity u and acceleration a. The object moves in straight line through in displacement s and has final velocity v. The above quantities are related by equation so, so 
v square equals to u square uh, plus 2s which condition must be satisfied in order for this equation to apply the motion of the object um, are the direction of a is constant and the direction of a is the same as direction s let's uh, let me see the other uh, option b the direction of a is constant and the direction a the same of direction of u uh, let's continue the magnitude of cons the magnitude of a is constant and the direction a is constant also or d the magnitude of a is constant and direction a same of the direction of v okay <clears throat> uh, this is the condition must be satisfied yeah the, the first is acceleration mass is constant yeah the 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 magnitude of uh, acceleration is constant uh, also also the direction of a is constant so i think the answer is c okay continue number seven a car is traveling a constant velocity constant velocity its brake are then applied yeah, causing uniform deceleration uh, which grabs on the variation which distance s of the velocity v of the car okay uh the car traveling constant velocity so this is the uh grab for velocity with uh distance yeah with the distance the velocity with the distance velocity is constant but uh if v correlated with distance yeah the system will be uh changed or additional distance yeah so uh if v constant this is v constant and then after that deceleration the deceleration s will become to zero because this is a break are then applied causing uniform deceleration so uh if we see the deceleration deceleration is uh in uniform deceleration yeah in uniform deceleration the uh the answer correct is uh this is about v uh the answer is i think the answer is b yeah answer the answer is b because the after applied the velocity will be going down with the acceleration constant the acceleration is constant so we get the grab on the s over v or v over s in the constant uh, constant slope okay number eight uh, a ball a ball is thrown across a flat field yeah which doesn't disrupt the motion the ball when effect of the resistance are ignored the ball lands with the same velocity which the thrown no i think uh, the horizontal component of acceleration is constant throughout the motion no uh, the horizontal and vertical component of acceleration are both zero at the highest point of the motion mm, yeah on the highest point yeah the acceleration come to zero yeah also on the y direct on the x direction because there is no uh, acceleration uh, start from the bull uh, thrown this uh, on the on the x direction the acceleration is zero but in the maximum height yeah uh, on the y direction acceleration is zero okay let's see the, the number d the horizontal and vertical component are both zero and the highest point no this is this is not correct yeah this is not correct because we have still, still have velocity on the y direction okay let's we uh, repeat from the uh, option a the ball lands with the same velocity no the horizontal component of acceleration constant throughout no the answer i think c yeah when the horizontal and vertical component acceleration are both zero are the highest point of the husband of the motion okay now continue number nine 
uh, which doesn't define force here. A. When a force on a body is free to move, the force is product the mass of the body its, uh, and its acceleration. Uh, come to be when the force are on the body the free to move the force are read the change of momentum of body mm, let's let's see number let's see option C uh, when a force act on the body the free to move the force is the work done by force divided by distance moved by the body mm, D when a force act on the lever or a lever because at the moment the force the moment divided by perpendicular distance of the force the pivot okay well the answer is correct let's repeat from a when a force act on the body is free to move the force is the product of mass of the body and its acceleration this is regarding uh, Newton second law yeah the force product of the mass of the body and acceleration this is about defines yeah about the point that of change momentum I think this is correct yeah uh, the define define of force is the uh, change of momentum yeah, of the body, just of monthly divided by time. Then this is correct. Number ten. A particle mass uh, traveling with speed u collide with stationary particle of mass m. The velocity of two particle before and after collision are shown. Yes, this is before collision. We have m um, small m and we have. Uh, capital M yeah before collision M is we have velocity U and uh, capital M in uh, in arrest yeah then after collision uh, M we have formula U over 3 uh, and angle alpha and then M uh, with the horizontal uh, hit the um, angle beta and then velocity u over 2 after collision okay uh, which factor diagram correct be, uh, so the moments before and after collision yes okay this is regarding uh, if you know uh, this is is or this equal uh, for for m a uh, small m and capital M. So the correct answer is yeah, mu equals to mu over 2 and mu over 3. The correct answer is let's say m u over 3 alpha alpha uh, this is correct why correct the a is correct yeah uh, the alpha is uh, sorry uh, the correct one is the alpha is in here and beta is in here this plus this equals to mu oh, b b b okay the correct answer is b okay this uh, my video uh, regarding p6 uh, s level problem solving thank you very much for you to watching my video let's wait my video other video Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you very much.